Hey, this is Jim here from Elliot, back again for another advanced Calypso tip. This time we're going to be taking a look at a curve. We're going to grab some geometry out of that curve like circles and lines. We're going to show you how to do that with a selector box on this great video on Calypso here at Elliot Machinery. Now with our alignment finished, we are ready to take a look at creating some geometry using a curve. So our first step naturally is to create a curve. We can do so under the CAD and creating features menu. We'll create a section across our slot here today. We'll use the slot as our source for a circle and a line. So we'll select on the inside of the slot to create our tool. Let's reorient our tool by placing it into a Z vector. And we'll use the elbows here just to make sure that we have the entire slot covered. Set this to a depth of four millimeters. And now we'll apply the section. The next step is going to be the actual curve itself. From the point set menu, we'll select on the 3D curve option. Now what I'll do is I'll hide the remainder of the model and just take a look at the section portion itself. So we'll select on these lines here and go all the way around our slot. There we go. We'll set the edge distance value to zero. And then I'll change this number setting to a distance setting here. And I'll apply points every 300 microns. There, that's a very thorough slot measurement. We'll go ahead and create that feature. And now we have a 3D curve in our feature list. We'll restore the CAD model. And now it's time to create a simple circle and a line. So let's start with a circle. When you open up the circle, you can see it's all zeros inside. What we'll do is we'll recall data from our curve and create a new circle. With the recall feature points, we can select our 3D curve, but right now it will try to create a circle that passes through all the points. It's not what we want. You'll notice two buttons have appeared up the top. The first will show us all of the data that's available from the 3D curve selection. Let's just orient ourselves so that we can grab the circle that we're interested in. The second button will turn your mouse into a selecting tool. Drag and drop, and a new circle is yours. It creates a bounding box here that will gather up the data from the circle at runtime. When we select OK, you can see that it has created a circle with the following dimensions. Let's repeat this process with a line. There are two types of lines that you can create in Calypso. There's a 2D line and a 3D line. A 2D line is ball compensated, which, which means that the probe itself has a size and all of the points are collected at center. It will then apply the compensation for the ball center by the radius amount from your qualification. This is what happens when you create a line through points, whether you're measuring or constructing. 3D lines take into account the centers of the objects only. This is ideal for passing through, say, a bunch of circles. 2D line is what we need today. Once again, we'll perform a recall feature points. Here's our 3D curve. And as you can see, it's passing the line through the average center of all the data. We want to explicitly select the data, so we'll turn on our show tool. And next, we'll use the selector tool. There. Now I have a line 
passing through that portion of the curvature. Now that we have these geometries in our list, we can apply characteristics or other calculations to them, just like any other feature that you would have measured. For more tips on how to use Calypso in advanced and interesting ways, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching from everyone here at Elliott Machinery.